All right, hey, this is just a little addendum to the last video that I did on my favorite skincare products. This is especially for those of you with rosacea, psoriasis, eczema, dermatitis, any kind of <clears throat> more serious uh, issue that manifests through the skin, okay? My three-pronged approach when I work with people is I always suggest that people try a high-fat carnivore diet for three to six months to ease into it gently to take at least at least six to 12 weeks to transition okay and then after you transition you need to give it a good three to six months okay uh, to really get your body acclimated to real nutrition okay to actually getting real nutrition into your body and limiting as much as possible things that are not animal foods, okay? And that should go without saying, no processed food, no sugar, no alcohol, no cigarettes. I tell people to wean off coffee. If you are on caffeine, slowly wean yourself off of that. Again, take six to 12 weeks to wean yourself off caffeine. Trust me on that, okay? Um, yeah. It, what caffeine does to your it's a stimulant it's a stimulant drug um, and it basically will fry your adrenals in your thyroid over time okay so again it's just it's just not a good thing um, you know all of these people that are like oh there's nothing wrong with coffee you know whatever um, any type of stimulant drug over time is going to have side effects that's that's not even debatable okay it's not even debatable it's to what degree it's how badly are you going to suffer because of your addiction. Okay, so that is the nutritional angle. Okay, now remember a carnivore diet means that at least 70% of your diet comes from high fat animal foods. And then 30% can be from other. I personally am 100% carnivore. Okay, 70% carnivore for me would, would be the standard American diet, actually. Like, I like 30% of non animal foods to me would be like absolutely huge and would wreck me. Would wreck me. Okay, if I had 30% of plant foods in my diet, I'd be a mess because I did that for years when I was doing like the Sally Fallon ancestral, you know, way of eating or whatever. Um, I thought what I had was a healthy, balanced diet, and it was absolutely not good for me. And going 100% carnivore has been eureka. So I do encourage to move towards 100% and to give that a good three to six months. But initially, aiming for 70 is good. Okay, aiming for 70 is good. And again, it is high-fat carnivore. And there's lots of videos out there talking about it. Okay, so you can you can look into it. Second thing I always suggest to people is the Boudreaux's butt paste, the sensitive skin one, okay? And this is absolutely a must if you have a lot of lesions, inflammation, any type of stuff expressing through your skin, okay? If you are prone to breakouts, you simply need to make sure that your skin is very clean. I like a makeup remover cloth and I like to do an oil cleanse that helps to really exfoliate and get off any dead skin cells so that you're not trapping anything under the skin and giving this a try, okay? If you find that you just can't use it because you're breaking out, then I usually recommend blending into my tallow, pork lard, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of jojoba base, and you can manipulate those oils, you can remove at whatever, whatever works for you. Uh, adding in a little bit of zinc oxide to that and making your own okay but this this it's already done it's already done for you this is a petroleum based product again petroleum's not bad please check out my other videos where I talk about it that's that's a lie it's an absolute lie go back and listen to my other video that I just did on skincare uh, my two favorite skincare products and I talk about the lie okay the narrative how it's absolutely not correct, okay? So this product I cannot recommend enough. I absolutely love it, okay? Um, it helps to calm down inflammation in the skin, helps to heal the skin barrier as the nutrition starts to work on the inside to heal from the inside, okay? So it goes together, okay? The third thing that I always suggest to people to try 
is trying a really clean mineral powder. And again, as long as you're not allergic to any of the ingredients, they're beautiful, okay? Just do not breathe in the dust. That's so important, I can't stress that enough. So you wanna do it outside, hold your breath when you're loading, walk away to a mirror, hold your breath while you're applying, just don't breathe the dust in. However, these are amazing for many, many reasons, okay? Not only does it help to mask and hide your, your skin issues on your face, but it also protects your skin, okay? It protects your skin from excessive sun exposure. Um, it actually helps to mitigate any bacterial overgrowth. It's just, there's so many benefits to it because mineral products, a lot of them contain zinc oxide, which has incredible, incredible skin healing benefits, okay? When you put it on your skin, once that powder merges with your skin oils, it liquefies it, right? And you end up getting the benefits of the zinc. And a lot of powders contain titanium dioxide as well, which gives you some beautiful protection against excessive sun exposure, which can cause rosacea to flare up and other skin conditions to flare up. Now, sun exposure is actually good for some people where it actually helps their skin. So you don't really know, okay? You just don't really know. But the last thing you wanna do is get a sunburn if you have, you don't wanna sunburn anyway, but especially if you have skin problems, okay? So these are just some of my favorites. This is the Jane Iredale Amazing Base. She also has the Pure Pressed version. This is, oop, this is the wrong one. This is my Young Blood. Oh, this is the, uh, the rice powder, which I don't use very often, but I thought it, um, I thought it was the, the foundation. I love the Young Blood mineral powder as well. It does contain bismuth oxychloride though, so if you are allergic to that, you would want to avoid it, but I love that product. Um, this is my Bella Pierre that I talked about in my other video. Again, love it, absolutely love it. If you can get a good shade match, I talked about how they changed their shades and I'm bummed about that, but if you can get a good shade match, it is a beautiful formula and it's, it's gorgeous, looks gorgeous on the skin and you need a good brush, okay? If you check out my community page with my posts, I did recently post what my favorite brushes are for mineral powder, so definitely check it out. It would be the Youngblood Kabuki, which is expensive, but I absolutely love it, and you can get it on sale. I also love the Lily Lolo, the bronzer brush. It is their bronzer brush, okay? It's like a Kabuki on a stick, love it. Also love the Lily Lolo Kabuki brush, but it's the large one not the small one, okay, the large one. And I also love the Young Blood. It's the YB3, I believe, and it is the dome-shaped buffing brush. It's not the flat top. I do not care for the flat top. It's too small for me. I love the size and the shape of the dome-shaped one. And again, I do believe it's called the YB3. And again, they do have sales, okay? So you'd wanna wait for a sale because they are pretty expensive. But that's kind of my, my trifecta. It's kind of my, oh God, my cat's eating my salmon, sorry. Um, those are my suggestions for people to try. Give it a good six months, okay? Signing out.